Holland Man, Graubella Man, Lindo Man. All elite Iron Age people, subject to bizarre and shocking injuries, then left for dead in a bog. It's a mystery that's fascinated archaeologists for decades. Who are these people? Why were they killed? Who killed them? And what does it all mean? Recent forensic research has led Bog Bodies expert Ned Kelly to a fascinating new theory. They are all victims of human sacrifice. We're beginning to realize from scientific analyses of some of the Bog Bodies that in the months or years before their deaths, they traveled quite some distance. Support for this idea comes from Professor Karin Frey at the National Museum of Denmark. She is re-examining several bodies using a technique called strontium isotope analysis. Most chemical elements have several different naturally occurring versions called isotopes. In the case of the element strontium, each part of the world has a slightly different mix of these isotopes. So the food that we get uh, via the food chain and what we drink actually has these strontium isotopic characteristics within them. So when we eat them, we actually incorporate it into our body, into our teeth, into our bones, into our hair. And depending on where we have been, then these strontium isotopic compositions will change. Scientists have been using isotope analysis on teeth and bones for about 30 years. But Karin has created a vastly improved method using hair. She is the only person in the world using this particular technique, and museums from around the globe now send her hair samples for examination. As hair grows, it preserves a month-by-month -month isotope record. Karin can extract and interpret this record creating a timeline of a person's possible movements. The inspiration for this new technique came from Harold Skier Woman. The results were truly astonishing. Harold Skier Woman had traveled hundreds of miles from home. She was in a kind of a volcanic area and we don't have these kind of signatures in Denmark, so we have to go abroad. Harold Skier Woman spent the final period of her life wandering far from home, possibly to one of the many parts of the British Isles that sit on extinct volcanoes. These are areas rich in ancient ritual killings. In the case of Harold Skier Woman, it appears she actually left home and then returned to die. But did she know that upon her return to Denmark, she was going to be sacrificed. Did she go to her grave voluntarily? 